more ties in manufacturing, finance, biomedical and logistics sectors. Singapore wants to ride on China's growth by serving as a hub between the economic powerhouse and ASEAN. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang and Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong outlined this at the Future China Global Forum. Heidi Ng reports. Supply chain disruptions will still happen even in a post-pandemic world. Speaking at the Future China Global Forum, Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong says Singapore must always be prepared. And part of that includes being plugged into China's economy. As companies look to reorganize their global supply chains post-COVID-19, Southeast Asia can be an attractive choice for companies considering a China Plus strategy. With our strong trade and logistic links to ASEAN economies and China, Singapore can play an important role in helping to enhance regional trade connectivity. He cited initiatives on data exchange and digitalization as some ways countries can make it easier for this to happen. A strong supply chain also needs advanced manufacturing. Addressing Chinese delegates in Mandarin in a separate session, Health Minister Ong Yi Kang says that's also one of key areas it hopes for future tie-ups with Guangdong in the Greater Bay Area. He calls it a window that facilitates much of China's integration with the world. Some of these areas for collaboration include finance, biomedical research, intellectual property protection and the green economy. Once borders open, Mr. Wong adds Singapore hopes to deepen talent and people-to-people -people exchanges with China.